technical peaches. You know, a lot of really flashy movement. And it's cool that those peaches are prospering because I think it's made the peach population like really fun to watch. Yeah. Polish Scots, yeah, he beat Aqua to get here, um, including taking on the link on FD. But uh, yeah, we just got to watch uh, another Peach versus Falcon set in Nun versus Mog, and that one was not so close. Vish was talking a lot about kind of the struggles of Peach in the matchup. Let's see how this one goes. Good grab from Polish here. Uh -huh. But good to stick to this platform there makes that a much favorable uh, recovery for Gatsu. Much more favorable. Yeah. Goes back to spacing there. Ooh. Yeah, we, we, were, we were talking about Nun's playstyle a little earlier and his his, his jabs uh, on shield and in general pressure. I'm looking to see if Gatsu does any of that when uh, Polish decides to jump out of shield. Yeah. Gatsu, Gatsu, yeah, that's that's interesting. I always think Gatsu's like, he likes to hit with big moves a lot. Like, he's like yeah. less... You see how he's just, he's just trying to knee him right now. He literally just wants to hit with a knee. Like he he's the kind of player that like he is mostly just looking for the fat juicy openings. Yep. Polish grinds that stock out though. Mm -hmm. Ninety-eight percent is not a bad spot to be. We almost got that one, dude. He has done. He's tried to open up neutral with knee like seven times in a row. Now. Yeah. Eight. I think these buffer <laughs> rolls out by Polish. Pol he'll realize he's in a bad spot. He just gets out of there quickly. Use Peach's quick roll. Go too far, but oh, yeah. I think he could have got that one right. Feel feel like he could, yeah. Mm -hmm. That got to that is. Ooh. Oh, he went for some kind of some kind of ledge movement there. Pseudo pseudo peach hack stash movement. Stuff? Yeah, something oh, like that. Barely missed it. Got to landing a big stomp here. Staring <laughs> this man down. Oh, -ho -ho! this attack works. Oh wow, oh. Side B gets clipped by that late Nair, and down smash, he has no jump! Oh wow, I wonder if there was any way to maybe get a downer out? Polish knows what he's doing though. Oh my god, and he sneaks under that Falcon neutral with his own neutral row. That was really slick. I noticed Polish yeah. doing a lot of these like super low Nairs, you know? He's doing like the pretty much like float cancel height Nairs, mm -hmm. or float cancel height aerials. And I guess that can happen, you can literally just sneak under Falcon's Nair with a hitbox of your own. Gatsu had some courageous nares that stock, but like you said, Polish eventually finds an answer for them. Gatsu getting good damage here, but opened up by down smash. Some good ledge play here. Ooh, tough to punish that parasol, wow. but Gatsu finds the roll in there. Talking about Polish's buffer rolls. Mm -hmm. Gatsu has a read on it now. Wow. Ooh. CC by Polish here. He's gonna go back to back air spacing comfortably at this nice percent lead. Yeah, Gatsu just getting out of that situation. He wants nothing to do with this down smash toe. Yeah. Yeah, he could have maybe even tried to poke at him with up airs, but he's really prioritizing his own safety right now. Oh, oh. confirming it into the turnip. That's this is kind of sick. Yeah. Good, good attempt there by Gatsu. Oh. Even better follow up by Polish. Yeah. Um, following smash DI all the way through. Oh wow, he catches the jump it looks like. But yeah, sharking that. It's always the question of is the beach gonna air dodge? Just got like a really, really good air dodge. Oh! Great That's a lot of damage here. Mm -hmm. Just needs a few more up airs to close his stock out, and if he can stay at low percent, he's a good path here. Yeah, trading with one hit of the down oh. smash there though. And now, oh! He pushes. Polish is bringing out the pushes for the pretty much the first time in the game. Mm hmm. Oh wow. wow, dude, Polish just getting under him with the Nair. Polish getting, whether it's like using the, you know, lowest float height to get under the short op neutral air, or just reading the full jump neutral air with uh, his own full jump Nair. Yeah, and he gets, Man. you know, the, the conversion and just follows it up with the fastest float canceled Nair on the platform that, that I've ever seen. I mean, a lot of Peaches mm -hmm. would have gone for an easy dash attack, which Falcon could actually DI out of. Yeah. So smart to get Falcon off stage as early as possible and just ride the edge guard from there. Mm -hmm. That's gonna go straight to Yoshi stories here, though. Oof. Great opener here, yeah, it's gonna be big damage. Polish doing the best he can with this DI, but... Yeah, he has that damage. upper ult, by the way. Ouch! Does, oh, wow. Yeah, I tried to float back, but not quick enough for Gatsu. Yeah, it is nuts that uh, Backer just took the stock at 72. Yeah, you gotta love Yoshi story. Mm -hmm. Throw. Oh, 
There's a, he just kind of jabs him out of the... It's kind of an awkward spot, though, because Gatsu gets the jab there, but then he just gets crouched down smash. Ooh! Wow! Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's a free extra one hit for Gatsu. Oh, yeah. It's so consistent on the edge guards as normally. Gatsu's gonna open the stock up here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh! Ah, uh, but wow. he gets the reverse knee. Yep, he had to space that just a little bit further back. Yeah. Ooh, I think right there you could have short up need the down smash lag, actually. Mm -hmm. That's kind of one of the nice things about Yoshi's is that Falcon's short up works really well covering it. Nice air dodge by Polish Ooh. here. Oh, he ah, almost got a off. lot off yeah. of that. Yeah, the slide off was super crucial there. All right, got to staying in the lead. I gotta say, I love how expressive uh, Polish is in the player cam. Mm -hmm. I feel like it really adds a lot to the uh, the watching the, the, the experience of watching Polish. He's grinning ear to ear sometimes. He's nodding his head, shaking his head. He's got the whole range of human emotion, dude. Yeah, there was a shy guy interfering there. I think it wasn't a huge fan of, but that was a vicious edge guard there, going 60 mm -hmm. to death. Polish here, staying close. He wants to find a nair, possibly down smash oh, here. Oh, oh God, see, wow, that, I don't that was. Think, nice. I don't think there's any DIing that, huh? I guess not. I mean, maybe you can like really hard DI the up air away, but. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a grab. Yeah, he actually like used the the Johnny grab hitbox. I think Peach was like even a little bit behind him when he got that grab. Ooh, Polish landed mm. that there. That could have been a stock. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna go back to, back to neutral here, deal with Gatsu's up air. Yeah, I like Gatsu backing off when he's like not super duper sure. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, ho, almost read the uh, the air dodge. That was slick. Nice nair down by Polish. You should close this out. Yeah. Oh, this is so doable, Toph. One down smash on the platform. Yeah, Polish, uh... Ooh. Looks like, I mean, he's done a great job getting off stage so far. If he can pop him up, like, get one knockdown here, up here. Oh, but he runs into a knee. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looks like Polish was looking for the dash attack spacing, but wasn't mm -hmm. completely prepared for Gatsu to just have short hops ready. Like you said, Gatsu just happy to throw out the kill options. Uh, you know, as much as possible and safely with uh, Captain Falcon. Yeah. Reacting to you with Drift. Yeah, because the nice thing there is, like, if Polish ever goes for a roll, like, that knee's also going to cover roll, and you're totally safe. You can trade with dash attack. Um, and, yeah, Gatsu is definitely just kind of down to spam it. Even at the risk of, like, you know, maybe you... <laughs> it, it, it might look predictable, but at the same time, it's really hard to deal with. So, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't doesn't really matter. But what a waveland there. Polish getting great damage this stock. Mm -hmm. On his counter pick here, FD. Oh wow. wow! He does like the empty float in, and then goes back into his float and I gets and puts the nair out. That's I need tricky. Like a dude. Super slow mo on that one. That, that was a little too fast. Yeah. Oh wow! Loving these air dodges through Gatsu's pressure here on invincibility. Grab by Gatsu. Let's see how much he can get on this potential edge guard. Yeah, sometimes that fast fall aerial from Peach can be a little surprising. Yeah, definitely. And she can get a down smash out so fast. You know, like, Gatsu gets some of these grabs because Polish... Oh my god, how did that happen? If, if Polish didn't lose his double jump somewhere... Oh my goodness, Gatsu reverses wow. that. But yeah, that could have been a... That was basically a two-stock swing if, if Polish didn't drop that edge guard. Yeah. Match. Good coverage here by Polish. Goes straight for the neutral air. Yep. That's tricky too. That turns into a DI mix up because the way you would want to DI the neutral air and the way you might want to DI a dash attack, for example, could be pretty different. Oh, with the double jump neutral air, but he's able to nair out. Definitely a good trade for Gatsu there. Full of the great yeah. nairs in, the, in neutral. Wow, uh, dude. And, and he, he was stitch, able. Yeah, it was so important. He was able to get the float nair without using his stitch, which could have been huge, but I say that. Oh, pick it up. Oh, Gatsu <laughs> fails to pick up the turnip. <laughs> That knee was definitely him mashing the Z button, trying to pick up the stitch face, but... He wanted to, yeah, he was trying to space it all delicately. Either way, picks the stock up. Yeah. You actually don't even have to space it there, because when it bounces like that, when that's they right, just, like, drop right. it, there's no strong hitbox. Yeah. Polish. First big chain grab we've seen of the map here. Oh! oh my that's death. Yeah, oh my I think there he could have done the... Yeah, maybe hold down on the down smash and get the double hit, so you send back into the stage, but... Polish's uh, early forward air here to cover ledge and still have plenty of time to cover center stage. He's such a sick edge guard. Uh -oh. Gatsu gets a big follow up here. Dude, are you good at doing that double jump nair that Gatsu's doing? 
Have no. you ever like practiced that with Nerf? It's super hard. I, I play Peaches so rarely, but it is a, a sick technical uh, situation on the up throw. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that back air is just. Oh, but he needs the the dash back from Polish. Polish surviving? Oh, ah, wow. not quite. Up there, Gatsu really went all the way up there. Yeah. Oh. What a grab! He just runs across the stage and does it to him. Gatsu was actually almost in the lead for a second. He's got to be careful though when he flings himself off the yeah. stage, because like he misses some of these up airs and then it's it's Polish's turn. And oh, Falcon wow. does not have the recovery to be messing with Peach off stage like that. Oh, the spacing from Polish right now with that back air. Oh! Wow, dude, dude he was too low. Polish was just a tank holding center stage of FD with, with float canceled aerials. I feel like Gatsu was really struggling to, to get an upper uh, start there. Yeah. Wow. Gatsu, really dude, there, Gatsu's like so down. He's like, I feel like a lot of players in a spot like that, like they'll kind of really match their opponent's pace and they'll really take their time. Gatsu, like as early as possible, is like, no, I'm going to read crazy run up grab, you know, reading your dash back or something. Gatsu, like, mm -hmm. immediately wants to scrap, which I respect. Yeah. But it is very scary to play like that because, like you saw right there, it can go, it can go so wrong. There's that full jump up there you're talking about. Yeah, wow, what a phantom. Yeah, I like him backing off there. You might be able to get a knee, but you also, it also might turn into a really sketchy situation for the Falcon. There's an Ooh, easy confirm. Let it rock, let it rock. Oh! Man. Damn, that was almost a crazy uh, read. Gatsu Ooh. saw that neutral stand-up coming a mile away and just had a nair ready for it. Mm-hmm. Got so much great damage to stock. Peach oh, well out wow. of speed now. Yeah, definitely. And this is where nair gets really good. Ooh! He needs to dash back again. One more knee will do it! Oh, oh, Gatsu oh. just teleports to the top of the stage, instant transmission. Quick pull up uh, knees from Gatsu. Bullshit. Yeah, that was crazy. How can he get the edge guard here at this percent? He cannot. Yeah, Gatsu really running away with this one. This is yeah, this yeah, is crazy. Big here. Bullish needs to not force it too much here. Ooh. Gatsu, this is man. He's flying around. <laughs> this is just to bring it to game five, mind you. Bullish is up mm -hmm. to one here. Oh, pivot jab, hello? Oh, oh dude, oh, what a stomp. Yeah, Gatsu, he's working on a four stock here, but Polish not gonna have it. Back air on the way down. Oh, might be up at low percent. Oh, man. Double jump, there's him onto the platform. Uh oh. Dude, oh man, yeah. he's cooking, he's cooking. Oh, oh. Catches the slide off, wow, that's game five. Polish's counter pick though, having the yeah. stage advantage here, he can choose whatever favorable stage he wants. Yeah, this is kind of interesting because like, I think a lot of Peaches would kind of naturally default to a stage like Found of Dreams against Falcon, but at the same right. time, both of the other small three platform stages have really gone in Gatsu's favor, especially that Battlefield game we just saw. And again, Gatsu also won on Yoshi's, so it's like, from that regard, do you want to go there? It's either that or, I mean, I guess Dreamland would be the other, you know, really solid pick. Curious if it's going to be Dreamland or FOD here. FOD, there it is. Oh, we're starting this off again with the early up Bs. Not crouch cancelable. Once any percent he can get here against Captain Falcon. Yeah. Oh, Polish. Oh, what a what a way to convert. Yeah. Actually chasing Gatsu on top platforming. That's a huge down smash code. <laughs> Most dock has opened up. He said, if you can play top platform, so can I. Yeah. And Falcon, I mean, he can challenge it. But the thing is, if he's right and he gets a little bit of up air damage, it's like, you know, 15%. But if he's wrong and he gets the wrong timing, down smash is going to brutalize him. So. Optimal Just damage the there on that combo from Gatsu. He's going to get the dash back grab here. Oh, surviving. Surviving that. Nice turn of usage here. Mm hmm Oh, oh wow. Gatsu's near barely beaten out. Polish is racking on the percent here. Hit by hit. Yeah. Gatsu again. Wow. Fades out the platform approach with a solid knee. 
Dude, I would not be shocked if like <laughs> most common neutral opener for the set was like just just Ronnie. Yeah. That wouldn't even surprise me, honestly. Ooh. Look how quick Polish was there to get that Falcon carry. Oh. He's stuck with a tournament in his hand. Wants to get it out. Yeah. Yeah, he just kinda kinda chucks it. You're somewhat at the mercy of your opponent when you can't throw out aerials like that. Oh man. Got to just run up, wave dash back, run up, wave dash back, run up, wave dash back. Knee doesn't quite take the stop. Polish gonna stall a little bit here. Ooh. Yossi just running in there with stomp at the ledge. No fear. Yeah. Yeah, he's really gotta make uh making making Polish work. Ooh. Goodness. Polish wants this platform bounce smash so badly here, Toad. <laughs> yeah, and Gatsu wants to bait it out and knee it. Whoa! Alright. The I'm situation resolves with neither of them dying. Okay, that, that, yeah, that's a big grab. And dab their knee is gonna kill off the. Well, off the side, but it looked like it could have killed yeah. off the top. Tried Yang up. No use. And early shield grab for Gatsu. This could be big damage here. Oh my god. Down throw, Nair, re grab. Good air dodged out there by Polish. Making the best of that situation. Yeah. You know, it's funny. This is actually kind of a matchup where both characters, if they so choose, can kind of go to the pla the top platform and frustrate the opponent. Right. We saw Polish doing that early with those repeated down smashes on the top platform. And now Gatsu, every now and then, he's just like, you know what? Let me take a stomp break up there. Oh, unfortunate. Ooh. Doesn't punish the gentleman directly, but still gets a good nair here. Gatsu going for ledge, of course. Oh, and he texts the turnip. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. The side B that he could not have meant to do. I think he doesn't have his jump either, huh? After getting there out of the side B like that. Yeah, an, an aerial. Yeah, I think so. Side B. Polish. Ooh. He's starting off the stock exactly how he wants to here. Mm hmm. Man, all of a sudden. Ooh! Dead even game. Oh, and the shield drop back here for oh, Polish! That's such risky Nair. He's he knows Gatsu wants this grab here. Buffalo mm -hmm. pulling out of the grab. It's, did he just nair from ledge? He nared from ledge, dude, yeah. Oh, you, you never see Peaches go for that. So low range. Right. Oh, we're, we're barely surviving these combos, Tove. He's only a couple back airs away from oh. death. Oh, wow. Again, also using the very top of the stage here. He locates him in the magnifying glass, dude. Polish on tournament stock here. Yeah. Oh, that stomp on the top platform could be big. And he misses the edge guard. Oh, that fourth smash. If Gatsu lives this. Yeah, okay. every little bit of damage he's applying to Polish right now. Oh, okay. my God. That's okay. Yeah. That's coverage. That was really good from Polish. To sneak past him. Polish going straight in there with the float backers and theirs. Huh. Now, in a difficult situation. Oh, yeah. Huh? Here's that top platform control here. Polish gonna go down. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is so tense, Toph. This is so tense. And yeah, Gatsu playing so much more conservative than he has Ooh. been. He just knows one platform down smash turns this all around, and he just right. has to do... He's like one job right now, which is avoid that. He's putting those knees out. Polish, oh, he almost found on. that up right there. Oh! And a missed tech on soft knee, strong knee. Gots is going to take it game five, and he's going to continue on in our loser's bracket here of Pound Online 2021. Polish nodding his head. That was a yeah. really well played set from both these guys. Really well played set. Absolutely. There were, uh, you know, it was funny. There were a lot of moments where Gatsu really showed his comfort with the Fountain of Dreams platforms. And a lot of the time you take Falcon there and you kind of, you know, yeah. you're hoping for Peach's kind of affinity with those Fountain of Dreams platforms too prevail but you know gatsu like he would like pivot knee like he'd dash under it pivot knee in just such a way that like it would hit peach standing on there in a really safe manner it was mm -hmm. so like i don't know crispy checking out some stats here man you were you, uh yeah it looks like the neutral opener for gatsu was was the nair, nair. As, as we yeah. would expect but makes sense it makes sense it kills with knee Total uh, damage yeah. done was actually one more damage for Gatsu than Polish. That is insane. Every damage insane. counts, though. Every, Every damage, damage counts. counts. That's why he won. That one extra percent. <laughs> I think that's so. why he won, but... Yeah.
Much wow. lower uh, average kill percent there. Forgot to. Really impressive stuff. Yeah, and uh, man, looking at the, the game times there, FOD almost went five minutes, a small stage like that. And in, part of that was in credit to Polish's incredible defensive spacing uh, mm -hmm. on those last two stocks, especially. Those guys both just refused to get hit in the, uh, the last uh, two, three stocks.